Okay, yes, so uh, Chesley is not with us today. No. I, I think he's probably enjoying the holiday, yeah. uh, upcoming Get holiday with his family. Time. Much needed for him, yes. Yeah, so we have Cheryl good. here with us, Mr. Crash Clark. Yep. Good, good, morning, morning. good morning. Good morning. Now, we talked about this story yesterday. The yes. guy, uh, the politician who body slammed somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Forte. He won. He won it. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> That's the world that we yep. live in. Yep. Um, so we're going to take a look at that particular story. Montana's congressional election suddenly, uh, suddenly was national news after the Republican in the race was charged for body slamming a reporter. Well, last night, that candidate won the election despite the incident. Greg Gianforte declared victory over his Democratic challenger, and he also apologized. Oh. I took an action that I can't take back, and I'm not proud of what happened. I should not have responded in the way that I did. And for that, I'm sorry. Oh, well, we like hearing that. It is hard to say how the race could have been affected because two-thirds of the voters mm -hmm. had already mailed in their, uh, their choice for him. Mm -hmm. And so they weren't able to change their votes after the altercation. So you don't really know what would have happened if they did not have so many mail-in uh, people. Sure. So it could have made a difference, but... And Montana is... Traditionally a red state, right. Trump won it big time right. in, in the election, President Trump. And so, you know, he was leading in all the polls anyway. Was, yeah. But like you said, because it happened late in the evening, Almost, the night before yeah. the election, it, it may have been too late to have yeah. an effect. So what Cheryl's trying to say is if you're going to body slam, <laughs> slam somebody, somebody. Yeah. do it the night of the before election. The election. <laughs> and you know what? I didn't know that he was like a self-made software billionaire. Oh. Yeah. 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 He's a big time businessman. So maybe, you know, uh, as a billionaire, maybe he can give some money toward anger management, you know, <laughs> causes True. across the state of Montana. Right. He can make a difference. Now, is that photographer going to press any kind of charge? Is he well, going to try to... Well, I mean, knowing what I just found out now, I think he body slammed me once a long time ago. Well, He'll be possibly. in civil court very soon. Yeah, I'm sure. It's interesting because the, the police were called because other people saw it. Right. Uh -huh. So he has been cited for misdemeanor assault. Uh -huh. That doesn't go away. He'll have to go to, to court on those. Yeah, as well he should, point. if that's yeah. what happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. But he's going to Washington. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to take a look at some of our news headlines this morning. <laughs> and turning things to a slightly more serious note, at least a dozen people are without a home this morning after a fire overnight in Clarkston. Residents living inside the Silver Oak Apartments were evacuated after that fire spread to several units in the building. The Cab County fire officials tell us one person had burns on his arm and was taken to the hospital, but no one else was hurt. The Red Cross is stepping in to help those who are affected. In Manchester, England, two more arrests made overnight. British news agencies are reporting now that eight people in total have been arrested in connection to Monday's suicide bombing. That includes the brother and father of the attacker, identified as 22-year-old Salman Abadi. Abadi. Investigators say he was carrying a sophisticated backpack bomb when he killed 22 people and wounded dozens of others. Police are continuing to look into who else may be connected to the bombing. President Trump is in Belgium today as the fourth stop on his overseas tour. The president will address members of the NATO alliance at a summit in the heart of the European capital. Trump has previously mentioned pulling out of NATO after accusing other countries of not paying their fair share in the partnership. And signs that we are getting close to the official opening of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Oh, how beautiful is that? This morning, we'll see the stadium light up in downtown Atlanta for the very first time. It is the ceremonial lighting. It will be happening at 6 o'clock. Sunrise is around, what are we going? 6.30ish. 6 6.30ish. 6 we got a crew there to bring it to you live. Stay tuned throughout the morning right here on 11 Alive, and we're going to bring that to you. Welcome to the show, or welcome back to the show, folks. One of our favorite segments here we like yeah. to call Fair or Foul. We got Vinnie Politan. We got Tracy Humphrey. They have the signs there. They're going to listen. Defending to champion. Vinny Defending Politan. champion. That is so not true. Well, we'll see. We'll see for today. All right, got a couple stories you may have heard about this week. Let us know what, what you think. Also on Facebook Live, let us know if you think they are fair or foul. First of all, we have it, uh, the senior at the Christian school, right? She is the valedictorian of her mm -hmm. school, right? She... Um, was found pregnant, so they will not let her walk uh, to graduate. Now, each student has to sign a pledge that they would avoid things like alcohol, drugs, sex, but she has a 4.0. She's also the president of the student council. Is the school correct? Is it fair or foul not to let her walk for her graduation? Who's up first? Vinny Politan, defending champ. Foul. Foul. Uh, I understand it's a Christian school. I understand they have their own rules. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I believe the, the Christian thing to do would be Ooh. to celebrate the 12 years of hard work that she put in to get to where she was. Even if they was. have the standards? They, they have the standards, but 
it goes. I think it goes beyond that. I think no one is perfect. None mm. of us are perfect. Mm. I've made mistakes. I've been foul a, fair, <laughs> a foul sometimes myself. <laughs> Tracy, um, I'm going to say fair. Fair. I, I thought about this one a little bit. Okay. If she signed a pledge, mm -hmm. she said she was going to have a certain type of behavior. Yeah. She needs to honor that. Mm. And if she is a 4.0 student, then maybe she can be an example to others that. I didn't do the right thing, mm -hmm. and don't follow my lead in that okay. way. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Fair or foul on that one. All right, you got to pay attention to the video here, okay? Okay. All right, two boxers in the ring last weekend, right? They're getting it on, all right? And then the bell rings, and one boxer, after the bell, knocks out the other boxer. His uncle, who's not allowed in the ring, gets in after the fight, and the guy who knocked out his, 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 his nephew right there, you're going to see it here in a minute, he gets in the ring, and he sucker punches him. Away. And he gets away. He gets sucker away. punched the guy who got who, knocked down? No, no, knocked the guy who got knocked down, that was his nephew. He's a trainer. Oh, okay, okay. And so gotcha. he gets in the ring and he sucker punches the guy. Gotcha, He's gotcha. not supposed to be in the ring, number one. And he got away. He slipped out. He got away. Is this fair or foul for knocking out his nephew after the bell? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start with Tracy. Okay, was the sucker punch fair or was the late hit? They were talking about the sucker punch. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, yeah. okay, tell us why. Tell us why because quickly. Because if we in a fight, we in a fight. And if you're going to go after the bell, game on. Once you start breaking rules, game on. We in a fight. Oh. Foul. No, I'm no, a former prosecutor. A That's a crime. It's called yeah. assault. We in a fight. You cannot do it. There's no fair in a fight. We in a fight. Assault. Yeah. Charge him now. Nah. <laughs> Let us know what you think. No, it's a, we in a fight. We in a fight. Let's fight. All right, last yeah. one. Last one. <laughs> last one here. All right, this is, this is one of my favorite ones here. Okay, all right. So we have a, a student, right, uh, from Brazil. She has no girlfriends, no close girlfriends. And so she goes to the next best thing. She has some classmates. She's a uh, computer engineer. So she gets her best guy friends to be her bridesmaids. They call them brides males. Now, is this fair or foul to the groom? Could he do the same thing? All right? Because she did it, but could he do the same thing? Vinny Palazet. Oh, it'd be fair for him. Well, 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 you know, if, if it's good for her. If, if, if his friends are legitimately women, and yes, they will be allowed to wear the robes as well. <laughs> that would be fair. That would be fair. What okay. were those guys wearing under the robes? Yeah, Drew, Tr Tracy Humphrey. Um, I would say if she got her groom's permission first, okay, it's fair. If he did not sign off on it, then it's foul. You can't. You, what, She's what, changing what the game. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if the groom signed off. If the groom said it was okay that she could he, well, have. He, he was there in the room while they were taking the picture. Okay, well, if he's okay with it, then yeah, he can have all women surrounding him. You wouldn't have a problem with that at all? No. Okay. All what right. Do, what are people no. saying on Facebook quickly? Any? Yeah. People are saying fair. About yeah. this story, fair? People are saying fair. fair. Okay. Good deal. All right. Good deal. Fair. So, all right. um, very good. Who won? Very good. Who do people say won on Facebook? Yeah, <laughs> <people say laughs> <laughs> you decide the winner, folks. All right, Crash Clark. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. A lot of people are talking about a security guard at the Atlanta Braves game. A little controversy here, Tracy. Yeah, okay, so you have to let me know what you think about okay. it. Uh, the guard took a ball from a kid in the stands after a little confusion over a play. Mm -hmm. So Rio Ruiz hit the ball down the right field line. A fan in the stand grabbed the ball thinking it was a foul ball and that it was fair game and he handed it to the kid. The only problem, it was a fair ball, so oh. the fan interference was called. The guard ejected the man and then took the ball from the kid. A lot of people say they understand removing the fan, but why couldn't you just let the kid keep the souvenir? Because at that point, it's, kind of, it's a moot point. You can't undo what happened for the play. So why not just let the kid keep it? But you know, I'm thinking about maybe it wasn't his call to make. Maybe, maybe his job is, hey, you, you have to throw the yeah. person out and then Maybe get the he's ball. following the rules. Maybe so, right? A lot of people on social media are saying that, like, you know, the guy's just doing his job you know, the guard, um, so he has to get the ball back from the kid. They got other balls. <laughs> right. They got more yeah, balls. The, the mean, ball touches like... the ground once, they replace it. Right, yeah. They yeah. use, these yeah. days, they use around yeah. 4,000 balls per game. I, I think it's just bad. I think it's bad. Anytime you take something away from a child. A child. It's well, bad. Well, well so. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. He's navigating around the dating world. It's tough. It's difficult. It's awesome. Those of you doing it now, you may need some guidance. I'm one of the, am I the only person up here that's dating? Yes. Okay. That's true. But you date your mates. Yes, we go on date nights. Yeah, but it's not like you dating. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and, uh, <laughs> we well, know our dates. if you are dating out there in the single world, the best advice just might come from your grandma. Don't be too judgmental of the person before you get to know them. And expect yourself to uh, behave as a lady. Respect yourself. They just text each other. And what do you think about that? That's bad? No, it's more fun to be up close. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, these grandmas are living in the Dallas area, and they are answering the tough questions. And it's great to get an answer from a completely different perspective. They say playing hard to get could add a little mystery to the relationship. Oh. New statistics say the average woman gets married at the age of 27. These grandmas say they think that is a great age because a woman can uh, show more confidence and she has a clearer sense of her own self. Yeah. What do you guys think? Playing hard to get, does that work? Finney? Um, play, I, I, yeah, I think adding a little, <laughs> you know, a little... A little game? A little game. Bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Playing Not games too much. is great. Because if it's too much... What I'm wondering, though, is dating these days has to be so much different, right? Because... You see that pivot? Right. You, see the pivot? Just, you, you just could, you could really it. Google that person you're dating. You can know everything about them before you even meet them. Well, yeah, you can. Well, if they've been mm. arrested and stuff like that, yeah, you can. <laughs> You gotta have a history in order for it to be on Google. Like people who just going so to work glad. every day. I'm so <laughs> glad I don't have to. Yeah. You got a whole different yeah. genre. Yeah. To do. yeah. Play I hard love to get. The grandma. That's the oh, God yeah. bless you. That's what I would say. And stay close. <laughs>